Little black book. You know what time it is. 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 Hey guys, and welcome to Little Black Book. You know what time it is. Uh, guys, I'm going to talk to you guys about Senator Myrie um, in New York who was arrested whilst peacefully protesting. If you're interested, make sure you like, share, subscribe, click on that bell button for the notification of the uploads. And for those of you returnees, you got the minerals, you got the minerals. Guys, what have I been saying to you guys in the last few videos? I said to you, listen, racism knows no bounds. Systematic racism knows no bounds, okay? A whole senator, a whole senator, you know, who's black, a whole senator, you know, in New York gets pepper sprayed and arrested for peacefully protesting. Now, if you want to tell me this racism thing is easily solved by black people just obeying, you're going you're gonna to have problems. A whole senator who's part of government, yeah, to help facilitate an, a state, yeah, is being arrested on the front line for peacefully protesting. Let me tell you something that's happening. Uh, Trump has spoke about how they're going to bring in martial law, basically. And do you know what's crazy? I said this. I said, look, we are going into a place where it's very dangerous and unprecedented times. Where injustice is standing so much that the whole system is threatening to crumble. That's the economical system. That's the social, political system is looking to crumble. Because what's happening is an, a form of injustice that's going to change the whole world. Listen, we're not going to be the same after this. We're not going to be the same after this, trust me. Um, because so many things are happening. What Trump's about to do, if he does it, by releasing martial guards or national guards onto streets to police, that should let you know that we've reached an unprecedented time. It's different. Things have got out of hand to a point for them, anyway, that requires them to use such militant force. And in one of his speeches, I think Trump even discussed saying that, you know, he's basically saying that, Everyone's basically just he, he he said it in different groups, but basically everyone becomes a terrorist. Basically, and what do you do, terrorists? You shoot to kill. You don't you don't you don't try to disarm. You shoot to kill one's terrorist. Um, and I'm I'm hoping I'm praying that this is not going to be some kind of internal genocide for America, because this potentially could go to that side. It could potentially tip on, tip onto that side because uh, you got a president who's unwilling to acknowledge the injustices of black people that incites and makes white people feel like they have a level of a more of a level of entitlement and privilege empowers institutions to treat black people even more um even more uh incorrectly now now he's obviously saying he's gonna get national guards on the street how long before injustice happens there when national guards take everything into their own hands how long before they become like robots and they only have a, 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 a shoot to kill mentality rather than actually being humane and understanding the context of a situation. How long before? You know, um, you know, this is like this is turning into a very dicey, dicey, dicey game. And I'm struggling to see Trump holding this Bible and I'm going to myself, a Christian, holding the Bible, doing what you're doing. It's hard to see, bro. It's hard to see. You know what I mean? I'm not a person to judge anybody's salvation, but there are things that, bro, as a Christian, this would not be correct. Do you understand? Some of the behaviours that they're exhibiting, some of the language that's been said, some of the things that he's been accused of, this wouldn't be correct Christianity. And this is enabling the white Christian liberal um, to exist in a world where they're also not standing up against this. They have the power to, but they're not doing it. And they're cowering away, so now what happens is he has free reign. Do you understand? So all those John Grays and everything that went into the, into the government to go and pray with um, Trump, President Trump, etc, etc. What is he doing for us at the moment? What is he doing for the black folk? I'm just saying, I'm not trying to even devise, I'm just trying to say. But back onto Senator May May Myrie. This is exactly what I'm talking about when racism goes beyond the bounds. His position means nothing. His position doesn't give him the same level of status or privilege as a white senator. They probably never know he's a senator until they arrested him and realized he was a senator. We saw this also with the FBI um, person who was arrested and they realized it was FBI and they had to, they looked stupid. Right? It's the same thing with the, the DA, I think it was DA or whatever, the woman that was, uh, uh, a black woman that was uh, part of the law or whatever, and they arrested, they, they stopped her on a traffic stop, tried to, tried to literally take the piss, basically, and she had to educate them, like, look, listen, do you know who I am? Like, don't play them games. Do you feel me? So we're seeing a lot of these instances where racism knows no bounds. You understand? 
racism has no um, <laughs> has no PC here. It just checks whoever it wants to check because they have that level of entitlement, right? And so for us watching it, I'm just like, bro, like, how many times? Man got, listen, man was peacefully protesting and got pepper sprayed. How much more, if the senators getting pepper sprayed, is those who below, people who are normal, ordinary citizens who wouldn't get sprayed, chopped up, killed, beaten up, shot with rubber bullets. I'm seeing, obviously, I'm seeing even pictures of people getting shot with rubber bullets. They are doing extensive damage, okay? Extensive, people are losing eyes. People are, um, people are getting hurt. Um, you know, people are getting, like, listen, if you're shooting someone in the eye, you are, you're training to kill, because you're training to shoot. You're training to kill, like, or try to at least hurt the person, damage them. <sighs> Freak it out. It's firing, it's tiring, it's tiring. I guess until white people are getting hurt the way we're getting hurt, things won't change. And to do with Anifa as well, which is really frustrating me, I saw some homeless person also get um, their stuff thrown into, uh, into a fire. Listen, look at the video again. This is where white people don't do investigative journalism very well at all. People are commenting saying, look at these protesters, da, 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 and they're trying to believe it onto Black Lives Matter. Look at the pictures. Look who's doing it. It's not black people, it's white folk. Do not label us together. That's frustrating. It's very obvious. You can see the video and you can see very, very clearly it's a white person doing it. So why would you say it's us? Again, your privilege, your prejudice, you fail to look deep into the situation. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to like, share, subscribe. That's my last video I'm going to do today. Hope you like it. Stay locked, stay loaded. More love. I will let